The war in Ukraine weighs heavily amongst many around the world, and the UTRGV men's basketball team is no exception. UTRGV features a pair of players from Ukraine and graduate student Dima Zador and freshman Alex Horuk. And while basketball and academics remain areas of focus, their thoughts are never far from home. From February 24th, that's the day when uh, Russia invaded Ukraine, it's, it changed drastically. Like, um, I'm talking about before that, I might call my family you know, once, twice a week. You know, we you know, have a great family, um, brothers, sisters, um, mom, dad, and everybody, you know. I, like, I always knew they were like, good, safe and stuff. After that day, February 24th, you wake up and you every day try to you know, reach out to your family, to your friends, just to make sure that they, they do good, they, you know, they, they, their town don't get shelled. Or if it does, like you're just trying to find out more details, and you know, so you're, you know, like who, who, who got, who kind of got involved in it, and it's, yeah, it's, it became, it became a lot different. You know, it definitely put a lot more stress, at least you know, on, on myself, and I just, you know, I just feel so, so bad from what is going on there, and how it impacts so many lives out here and just all around the world. So it's been, it's been a big change. I was I'm talking to my uh, my family relatives, uh, like at least three three times a week, asking how they're doing. But they they still live in a safe area, but I'm still like trying to talk to them, ask how they're doing, what's the new, everything. Uh, I'm really I'm really lucky that I have my my parents and my brother here, so that's a really good thing about it that I'm I know they are safe. And that's like, and it makes me happy that like I'm not alone over here. If the Ukraine, it's our family, you know, and um, it just it just united the country. To be honest, um, the way how the way how the poli like the politicians thought it's gonna be that it will just tear us apart, break us down, you know, put us to the to the like very ground. On the other hand, it's uh, it, it, it been just. You know, it, it's just amazing to see how, na how our nation just united in those five months, in those 200 days that we've been at war. It's, it's just incredible to see how people help each other, how people, you know, it's, and it's not even just Ukraine, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, Germany, all the Europe been doing an incredible job hosting a lot of refugees from Ukraine, a lot of people who got affected, a lot of kids. You know, and it just, um, you know, I'm, I, I'm so proud for what uh, European Union built and for what Ukraine have accomplished in this short period of time. But it, like, it's just, it is just incredible to see how every nation uh, that uh, have the, the, same, the same beliefs, you know, they, they, they believe in uh, democracy, they, they believe in independence, they believe in freedom. And it's just, it's just awesome to see how everybody get involved you know even you see united states they played a critical role in 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 this conflict and they, they, they've been our like one of the, the best friends so far so it's just you know i'm i'm just proud of what every nation uh kind of like you know gave us helped us with and it's just yeah it's 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 hard to describe like you know it's this feeling how you just proud of what people stand up for. We will make all Ukrainians be united, more united, more together, and like I'm when I see the news and I'm really proud that uh, like I'm Ukrainian and like I'm I'm from Ukraine that because uh, Russia said it's supposed to be three three day deal, and but it's been a, a four fifth months of war already. And the Ukraine is still fighting uh, for their for their for their lives for their children, and uh, and U.S. and, and Europe been doing incredible work helping uh, helping us with the, all the resources that we need, hosting the refugees, and it's, like it's, it's good to hear that we're not alone. What is it like for you to have a friend and teammate who is also from Ukraine with whom you can relate about what's going on at home? He's literally like my, my little brother out here, you know, I'm trying to take care of him, help him with whatever I can help him with. Uh, it's just 
we are we, we are roommates, so kind of you know we, we stay in the same apartment. So we get a chance to you know we get a privilege to speak our own language. Like yeah. I are just an apartment. It's just it's just been great. You know it's and it's not just there, but it's you know you step on a court and you know that you have something more to fight for every day, and you do it with your like you know like a brother, and it, it's just amazing. You know it's um. It's like it's it's giving this boost of energy every day when you step on a court, and uh, it just gives you that motivation to do better and better. And uh, you know you have that thought in your head that you know exactly what you're doing it for and who you're doing it for. Yeah, for me it's been it's been great uh, to have somebody who shares the same tradition, same culture, same language, and he has been like a, like he said like a big brother to me. Uh, he will have me a lot of basketball. And I and outside of basketball stuff, so uh, it's been really good to have somebody uh, from your own country. So I'm really I'm really glad that uh, I had the chance I had the chance to be in, in the same team with him, and same and share the same core with him and play f uh, together for uh, for one thing. What family members do you guys have in Ukraine, and what's that kind of line of communication been like? And how is all that going so far? My mom, my dad, my grandparents, my uncles, aunts. So whatever family you can name, any family members, um, they're in Ukraine. So I have everybody here. And uh, uh, unfortunately, when the COVID-19 started, uh, the, tra I, the travel was really limited. So I couldn't really, I, I couldn't really do it that year. And then, you know, um, and this happened, so the, the travel communication right now is just, just not there. So in my case, I haven't seen my family for, uh, what, three years? Um, yeah, so it's, it's been pretty much, you know, like FaceTime, uh, just phone calls, that type of stuff. Um, it's, it's, it's not, you know, the best you can get, but it's, it's still good that at least you can, uh, you know, ask how are they doing, uh, ask, ask what, you know, what's, what's going on there. You know, and just you know, just pray for a family. My, my whole, f my my both parents and my brother, they live here, so I basically talk to them every day. Uh, but uh, the family that I have, best family that I have in Ukraine, is from my mom's side and from my dad's side. Uh, I try to talk to them uh, like t at least tw twice, three times a week. I should ch ch check up on them. I had a visit. I had a chance to visit Ukraine last year before the war started, and it was really good to uh, see my family, my friends, and uh, I could just be, just be like, just, it was really good. It was really good to be back home, because uh, before I went to Ukraine, I haven't been there for five years, so it was it's been like a long time. And yes, and last year I had the chance to go back, see my family, my friends, and uh, it, it was great. It was great to uh, see them and felt like you like you're home. Other than performing well on the basketball court, what do you want people to take away with you guys' stories? Don't take for granted what you have, especially in this country. You know, America got, uh, you know, blessed by, uh, by being structured the way how they structure the country and uh, you know it's just uh, amazing what people can uh, you know um, they can like practice their religion free they have a freedom of speech and uh, you know all this like it, it, it just built an amazing way and uh, people should not take it for granted um, it's uh, you know uh, it's a lot of you know politics going on in this country right now and uh, people uh, times to times they go at each other but uh, what they really have to think about is uh, like just like how um, how thin this line where you know go 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 from this great stuff to whatever they have in those places where it's just not good and um, yes People just should be grateful for what they have and, uh, you know, just um, live together in peace, you know, and uh, just, just respect each other's opinions and choices. People should be grateful for what they have and because uh, 
everything was good in Ukraine, and one day uh, Russia start, started invading Ukraine, and and this, it changed whole people's lives. And now uh, uh, people, uh, a lot of people dying, ch ch children uh, missing their missing their fathers, their mothers, and the whole whole life changes changes forever. And uh, it's going to be a big scar on. Uh, on Ukrainian uh, Ukrainians live but you just gotta, you just gotta cherish every moment with your family your friends because you don't know uh, what's going to happen tomorrow